again, human beings from the planet Earth. This is an update for Op Liberation Save Victoria. Uh, you'll notice that I pulled the former video because uh, many activists felt that we needed to have further confirmation for the, from the mother as to which way to proceed because she's already been threatened by the courts and is intimidated by the father's power and money in this situation. Anyway, a press release has been issued as of late last night, early this morning. Uh, go over that with you quickly. Uh, who is Save Victoria? Save Victoria is a loose group of concerned citizens and activist groups which have banded together to prevent Victoria X, last name withheld, a 16-year-old citizen of the United States from being sent to Diamond Ranch Academy as ordered by a court in Louisiana's 22nd JDC. Background, this case is in family court in Louisiana's 22nd JDC. Victoria is not in trouble with the law having no pending criminal charges, no criminal record, and no documented behavioral issues. The issue of placement resulted from an argument between the father, name withheld, for the present. And I'll just make a side note here. Sir, I know exactly who you are. I know exactly where you are. I know who you work for and who all your constituents are. Now, I would advise you personally, from one father to another, to change your point of view on this situation and proceed accordingly ethically anyway back to the information uh... his daughter victoria they have been estranged since birth and save victoria suspects that the fact that she was born out of wedlock uh, and his strong iranian heritage may be a playing part in his desire to keep victoria out of sight the two haven't spoken in over 18 months. It has been reported to Save Victoria that he is very strict, is angry that she has friends who are African American, and is upset that she wears makeup. Victoria is a normal teenager, doesn't do drugs, isn't having sex, and is not engaging in other high-risk behaviors. She simply does not care to have a relationship with a father that has been largely absent her entire life and seeks to control her to an unnecessary degree. This perceived defiance of his authority has caused the father to seek to place Victoria in a so-called residential treatment center called Diamond Ranch Academy. Uh, Diamond Ranch Academy uh, located in Hurricane, Utah. When Victoria's mother, name withheld for now, disputed this placement under the shared custody agreement, the father took the issue to court. He has a large advantage in financial resources and convinced the judge, name withheld for now, another side note, we know who you are as well, to order Victoria to be placed in Diamond Ranch Academy until her 18th birthday. During the hearing, say Victoria has learned no evidence of the therapeutic nature of Diamond Ranch was presented. Rather, it was portrayed as a traditional boarding school. Say Victoria feels the nature of DRA may have been deliberately obfuscated from the judge. Say Victoria has in its possession numerous accounts of abuse, neglect, and frank torture of children at Diamond Ranch Academy that paint a picture of a seriously troubled program where mistreatment is systematic and comes part and parcel with its so-called treatment. Say Victoria will present these reports when authorized, appropriate, and necessary. Say Victoria feels no child should be subjected to this treatment and will fight to prevent Victoria from being sent to Diamond Ranch Academy at any and all cost. We will then turn our attention to freeing the other detainees of DRA. Latest update in the case, Victoria and her mother uh, toured the facility as ordered by the court and did not like what they saw. Victoria has specifically asked not to be sent there. Bravely protecting her daughter, Victoria's mother has refused to sign the DRA admission paperwork despite court order to do so. She continues her fight despite the setbacks. There is a potential for the judge to hold her in contempt and jail her for refusing to sign the paperwork, but she would rather go to jail than sign her daughter's life and her parental rights away. DRA has stated they cannot admit Victoria without a signature from both parents, but it is unclear whether the court order would change this. The father has now ref used the mother's refusal to sign as grounds to sue for full custody. If he succeeds in winning full custody, say Victoria fears that he may send Victoria against her will to Iran, never to be seen again. Uh, a side note. 
if this young lady were sent back to Iran with false accusations by the father, she could very well be killed. Back to the information. If I'm, I'm pissed off about this, so excuse me, I've lost my place. Uh, a hearing on the custody matter has yet to be scheduled. Currently, Victoria is ordered by the court to be t detained by escorts from DRA at 4.30 a.m. on June 1st and forcibly removed to the facility against her will. Summary, Victoria, a 16-year-old citizen of the United States and a resident of Louisiana, will be sent to Diamond Ranch Academy, both against her will and her mother's partial custody um, due to a court order based on incomplete evidence. DRA is an abusive facility with a history that includes a death at the facility. Without action, Victoria will be taken to DRA June 1st and possibly removed to Iran from there. Victoria's health, well-being, and life may all well hang in the balance. Save Victoria is a loose group of individuals and activists concerned about this situation in DRA in general and attempting to block this from occurring as well as freeing other DRA detainees. If you are a media representative looking for more information or if you are a lawyer or advocacy group with access to legal resources that would like to help, please contact Chelsea Filer admin at troubledprograms.com. There is also a phone number. Um, all this information that I just read to you will be below in the description. We must take action. And, uh, and another side note, many of the activists in this group have decided that soon they will take their own form of action. So you can expect any of you involved judge, DRA, the father, the hospital where the father works, all of you, you know who you are. Do the right thing, set this young lady free in her mother's care, who seems to care a lot about her, she's willing to risk jail for this, tells me a lot. All of you expect that if you don't do the right thing, the situation will be rectified. Much love to everybody. Please share this, uh, mirror this to your YouTube. Hit the remix button below. Um, a side note, copy the link to this video before you hit remix. It will not, YouTube is failing, it will not automatically pull it up. Copy the link, hit remix, paste the link into the video search option on the video editing page. This must go viral. Time is short. We only have days to save this young girl. Much love, many thanks. Op Liberation, you damn well should have expected us.